Um, hello, you are warmly welcome to today's um, video on engineering drawing or technical drawing. Today we are going to solve this um, past question from one university. Um, it's on tangency and um, according to the question, um, this was question 4, so figure 4 shows an exhaust pipe gasket. Draw the given view full size and show any constructions used in making the drawing. So all the dimensions have been given in millimeters and um, in order to be able to draw this there are a um, few terms we need to know or understand. So let's understand those terms before we draw um, this. So if we have um, two circles, let's say um, we have this circle, this one, let's call this circle as circle B then let's have a smaller circle inside circle B so we say that this small circle let me call that circle A we say that this small circle A is internally tangential to circle B okay so internally tangential internally tangential so the relationship that exists between the two circles is that the smaller one is internally tangential to the bigger one now if it if we rather have another circle let me draw that here a circle c we will say that circle c is externally tangential um, to circle b so externally tangential externally tangential to circle c and b so when one circle is found in the other we say the relationship that exists between them is internal tangency if um, the circles, the one is not in the other one, but then they are rather um, touching each other, like um, the C and then the B, then we say the relationship is um, external tangency. If we understand this, it means we can solve um, this question. Okay, so for this question, um, there's, there's, there's a combination of both the internal and then the external uh, tangency. So as we solve it, when we get to a place where we have to use either internal or external, we will look at that, then we see how um, we we'll do um, that. Okay, so let's quickly get going. So first of all, what we have to do is that we have this horizontal here. We've been told that the length of the horizontal is 72 plus 72. So when we add this and that, um, we get 144 millimeters. So Let's quickly draw our horizontal and then we get going. Okay, so let me take this paper from here. Or let me bring a new paper. <coughs> okay, so let's draw our horizontal line. Okay, so we have to make sure that the horizontal line we are drawing is a thin uh, line, not a thick line. The thick line will be only the um, the lines that make up the structure or the actual figure we want. So now we have to obtain our 72 um, from here. This 72 and that 72, we have to obtain it from the rule. So let me turn the rule around and obtain my 72. So, um, okay, so 72 is 7.2 centimeters. Okay. good that is it that is it so I stand here I cut my 72 I stand here construct that too okay make sure they are all 10 lines because it's not part of the actual figure uh, we are looking for now the next thing is that at this particular point at this particular point we have to get this smaller circle okay so this smaller circle there's another small circle here now they've written 225 um, this phi the, the sign we have here that's this sign it represents diameter okay this sign phi represents diameter so two 25 millimeters um, holes so this is one of the holes and then there's also another one of the holes so there are two 
Now the 25 means that the diameter of this um, circle is um, 25. So to get the radius, we divide the 25 by 2, and that will be 12.5. So 12.5 will be uh, the radius of the circle. So let's obtain our 12.5 from here. Okay, so 12.5 will be this side. Yes, this 12. So this uh, point 0.5. Okay. Yeah, that's it. 12.5. So we stand here now. That's the actual. It's part of the figure we are looking for, so we can draw that um, with a deeper line. Okay. So. Let me do that one. So we can draw that with a deeper line because it's the figure we are looking for. Then the question said that there are two of them. Okay. There's one here and then there's another one here. So we stand at this side then we draw, we construct another one. Okay, so that is it. Now we are not done. At that same side, we have another circle. Now look at this arrow. This arrow touches the outside part of this circle. Do you see that? It touches the outside part of this circle here. Meaning the radius of this circle here is um, 21 millimeters. So we have to measure uh, 21 millimeters on our rule. So 21 will be here. Open to this side. That's it. So we stand here. We draw a 25. We can use a deep line for that. Okay. Then you do the same thing over here. Um, okay. Okay, that is it. Good. Now we are not done. So at this side, there's, there's um, look at this very well. So there are two circles here. We have this one and then we have this one. So for this particular circle, this one, the diameter of this circle is 88. Look at the arrows. Touches the inner circle. That's 88. So to get the radius, we divide 88 by 2. Um, that will be 44. So we have to pick the 44 millimeter measurement from our rule again. So this is 44 to this side. Yeah, exactly 44. So we stand at the middle. At the middle. Okay, so we stand at the middle with the 44 uh, millimeter diameter um, radius. Then we draw this circle here. Okay. Now we can represent that with a deep line because it's part of the actual figure we are looking for so that it will be distinct from the other lines we use in our drawing. Okay, we come back to the question. So from the question, we have um, this other circle here. The radius, look at this arrow, 58 touches this circle. So the radius of this circle is 58. So we take our rule again. Then we measure 58 from the rule. Okay, so 58 is going to be over here. If I'm right, I think, yeah, that's it. So, whilst we are drawing the 58, we'll be looking at the drawing. Okay, good. So, for the 58, it's not a complete circle, so we wouldn't draw a complete circle. But then we'll have to still make sure that. We are representing that with uh, a thick line, not a thin one. Okay, now we are almost done with the drawing. When you look at this, you see that it's left with this side, okay? This side that we've not drawn. This side, four of them. Um, so, in order to, that's where the external tangency comes in because when you look at the diagram here, what is happening is that. We have this, the, 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 we have a radius here that's 33 um, millimeters. That's the radius of this circle here. What we have to um, 
construct over here okay good so in order to get the center of this circle here this circle in order to get the center you see that this um, circle with radius 33 millimeters is tangential to the outside part of um, this bigger circle here so this line touches this one so what we'll do is that we add the radius of this circle that's 21 we add it to the radius of this 33 we'll get a certain figure then we stand at the middle here at the center here and then we, we subscribe um, an arc and we construct an, an arc and then um, we also do same for this so this 33 also touches the outside part of this bigger circle so the radius of this bigger circle is 58 so 58 plus the 33 then we construct another arc where the two arcs meet we stand there and then we draw with a radius of 33 we draw this arc here so that's what we are go going to do so 21 plus 33 let's do that um, Yes, my calculator. So 21 plus 33. 21 plus 33, that's 54. 21 plus uh, 33, that's 54. Yeah. So I'll take my rule. Then I pick my 54 millimeters from the rule. Um, 54 millimeters yes now when you look at the diagram when we go back to the diagram we have four of this 33 right we have 33 1 33 2 the same thing here and here so what it means is that when we stand here with the 54 we stand at the middle here okay to cut that arc and the reason why we stand at the middle here is because the 21 was from this um, circle, the center we are standing. And we, we also construct another arc below because there are four of them. And then we do the same thing over here. We construct an arc here. Oh, it's not supposed to be too um, thick like that. Yes, but it's not supposed to be too thick like that. Okay, now we've had one of the arcs we need another arc in order to be able to draw what we are looking for so for the other arc we add a 33 to this 58 so 33 plus 58 that is uh, 58 plus 33 that's 91 so we take our rule again then we pick our 91 measurements to this side um, is that it is that it is that it is that it? Yeah. And that's it. So we stand in the center of this circle here. Then we mark, we mark, we mark, then we mark again. So we are done now. Um, this line, let me clean, it's not supposed to be long like this. Let me do the same for this side. I don't want the lines to, you know, cross each other. Good. Now, we we take um, 33 millimeter because we're told that the radius here is 33. So you take your rule, you pick 33 um, millimeters from the rule. That will be 3.3. 33 millimeters from the rule. Good. Then stand at this point where the meat from here that's from this side to this side okay let me see for this too from here to here um, okay so with that 33 millimeters we stand here from this point we cut the arc to meet these two we stand here we do the same we cut the arc to meet here we stand here we do the same so we cut the arc to meet here then at this point too, we do the same. So 
construct the arc yeah, like that. Okay, so that is it. So we have to clean the excess lines which are really needed. So let's do that. And while cleaning that, you make sure that you don't clean the drawing or the work you've already done. Okay. Okay. So this is it. So this is what we call tangency. We've made use of the external uh, tangency over here. And this is the figure we have. And let's see if it's the same as the work we we're asked to do. So this is the work we we're asked to do. Let me send this up a bit. Now we have something like this. Um, okay. So this is what we we're, were expected to produce. And I think we've done exactly that. So um, that is it. This video was on tangency. Thank you for your time. You can solve more questions on tangency. And um, yes, um, good luck to you and all the best. Thank you. Bye-bye.